Well, the first year in Gaital Shias Firkin Falcher of Galair, Ahasarim Ga Will Shivlin, Agas Tishmahori, Agas Muntori. Quinn Johasarm Ahain is Marvan Savin, his Itzanata, a Gobalam, Gorev Shivin on cheer. Children and teachers, dear friends, you're all most welcome uh, to Oris and Uktron a place that has served as the home of the President of Ireland since 1938, near Ahonic Douglas de and even in Shaw, when Dr. Douglas Hyde arrived here. But Sabine and I are absolutely delighted that you were all able to be with us today for what is, we believe, a very special occasion. You've, all, you've come from seven schools in different parts of the country. So I have to come to Gawilshiv Galier and Shah. I have to confirm that you're all here. So maybe you will shout on Shah as loud as you can when I call out the name of your school. The first thing thing is Venice Lauder and then if you can't revish. The first thing is that first of all, uh, from Carlo, Carlock, girls can only Hurish. From Dublin, the Holy Child Preschool. Oh, <laughs> From Crumlin in Dublin, Griffith Barracks Multi-Denominational School. Oh, Doing very well. <laughs> From Belfast, St. Teresa's Primary School. Oh, and from Galway, St. Nicholas National School, Clada. Oh, and from Bagnellstown in County Carlow, St. Mary's National School. Well, Toshin Gahinta, Malim Shiv. Kublav Lino, and a number of years ago, Sabine and I decided that we wanted a piece of art to be installed uh, on the grounds of our Sanukhtron that would recall 1916, to remember 1916 and the events that led up to the rising and also the promise of the values that were associated with the proclamation. We wanted it to help people to reflect on what has happened since then, and also to imagine what Ireland and the world would be like in the future. So we invited the best artists and sculptors to come to us with their ideas, and we were absolutely delighted with the response we received. We were sent so many wonderful, imaginative and different ideas that we had to ask a jury of very experienced and very accomplished women and men to examine all of the proposals and decide on the best idea for Oris and Uthron. And in the end, the jury decided that Rachel Joints, that Rachel Joints' proposal of Jarkon and Nina, the people's acorn, would be the perfect commemoration for Oris and Uthron. And I know, I'm sure you will agree when you see it, that Rachel has done a wonderful job and with your assistance. The first thing Rachel did was to ask poet Inda Wiley, also with us, to travel with her around the country to explain her proposal and to gather up people's thoughts and ideas. What people love about life and what they're concerned about, what, what they remember and, and what they hope for. She spoke to all of you children and to people who are much older than you, whom we will meet outside when we actually unveil the sculpture. But together you represent you, the youngest generation in Ireland today, and you're all from different backgrounds, live in different places, have different ages, beliefs, colours, shapes, sizes. Some of you are having your education through Irish, others through English. But you're all as important and as valued as each other. And what you have to say is important. For we remember from the 1916 proclamation that all of the children of the nation are to be cherished equally. We all share this place that we call Ireland and we share the same past, present and future. Agus Maruktar on a in President of Ireland. I want to thank you, children, for helping Rachel to make this wonderful piece of art. Though it might seem a long time since Rachel was visiting your school, all your words and thoughts have been carefully collected and arranged by Enda and Rachel. Your stories and pictures and poems will be held secure in the time capsule within the sculpture and will help people a century from now 
to better understand what life is all about. And you gave generously your pencils, which you'll see in bronze. I think 100 years from now might seem a long time. Uh, some of us are unlikely to be around when the time capsule is opened up again. But the interesting thing is that some of you children may still be knocking around. Because every year I send a little birthday present to every Irish person who is over 100 years old. I will on Cape Lyon, Bunch, and the number of ones I sent out, well, it's growing because people are living longer and longer. Last year, I sent 604 presents to Irish people who were passing the age of 100. The oldest person was 112. After the 100, I sent them a medal. But I think you'll never know a Foshti. Exercising regularly, eating sensibly... Living life properly, you might be back in the aura spite with whoever is president in 2016 for the opening of the time capsule. So there you are. Something to look forward to. Not only will your writing, the, that you, the messages you wrote, be preserved for a hundred years inside the sculpture, but as I've said, the pencils that you gave to Rachel, and she told me, you gave the pencil that you had actually been using. They are moulded in the bronze, and each of your names is on the sculpture for everyone to see. And it will be there for hundreds, maybe thousands of years. So throughout your lives, whenever you're back in Oris and Uktron, you will be able to visit Jarkon and Ini and show everyone your name. So be kincherit salavagan shed and sha ganaim shin shivur nanam nake egan Jarkon. Do be sure to find your name on the acorn before you go, and you'll have plenty of time to do that after the unveiling. It's mean a week as a qualish na muntori agus gachtin efi karax and togrisha. I so want to thank the teachers and parents akahore he ne ptish mahoris na muntori as na shak skulina for the seven schools for participating so enthusiastically in this project and for bringing the children here today. Above all, I want to thank you, children. Gam weakest live, as sok vehen sha, an ukod kiluruk sha. An ukod kiluruk is a celebratory occasion, and this is a special celebratory occasion. So malam shiv agus guim gak banaktari. Now, children, thank you for participating in this project, for coming here today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Oris Anukdron, the home of the President of Ireland, which is all of your home as well. Mila Buika says Burbana.